All right, welcome back, everybody. This is our leveling series. And so last night we did a quick uh, video showing this spot on Mosquito with my main account. So let's kind of look at the poor man's version on my leveling account here. Um, just want to make sure we can do... Yeah, we've got plenty of 3.2 liters, which is what we want. Other thing we want to make sure is that we have plenty of Crucian Gibble, which we don't. Um, and we're going to be using a straight semolina, at least to start off with. And I suppose. We'll do a size eight hook on the third one instead of buying another size six. I think it'll still be good on a size eight, but size six seems to be the the sweet spot in terms of um, trophies. Crackers, porridge, sunflower oil. We may have enough of this stuff just to just to make it. We're gonna be at twenty percent before you know it on. all this okay those are enough stacks and this is perfect timing to uh, start at the spot 1400 basically if you didn't see it last night uh, the spot is just down here on the coast right here around 56 47 57 47 this little area here and we're gonna do a 10 clip because that's what I did last night I think it really can go out to like 15 clip careful not to cast too close to the shore I mean, you want to be up next to the shore but right up against the shore um, we were seeing a little bit of ghost snag, ghost snag situations last night. And then on this third line, I need to make sure we do have the right leader on. We did not. Okay, now we're good. And you see how fast the bite rate is. I mean, this is not like a chill, come and chill and fish spot. So actually, I don't know that unless you're like low level, just, you know, wanting to catch a ton of fish to level up stuff, which that's totally understandable. But if that's, oh, that's cool. I've not seen a Chinese sleeper in this spot. But if that doesn't describe you, then it may be worth doing something else during the like middle of the day because the fish... The bite rate stays really high, but the fish get really small, as many Crucian Gibble spots do. Once you get to like noon, all the way up to like maybe 5, 6 p.m. or whatever. Which we're just coming up to that time now, so I feel like this is sort of the time that you maybe want to get set up again. And we're already catching pretty decent fish. But if you're too high a level, you know, this isn't necessarily a good spot for leveling. Uh, it, you know, once you get high enough level, it's... Even the Crucian Gibble trophies aren't giving you enough XP to, like, level aggressively. But this is a good place to catch trophies. Especially on, especially if you have all of the tricks of the trade, like on a high level account. And uh, it's also a pretty decent silver spot. You know, if you're not on a really nice spot at Old Berg, just because of the volume of fishing in the spot, you're gonna you're gonna make some decent silver. I think we did three nights in a row on the main account last night, and ended up with 
was it 14 trophies something like that and so those are at least like 10 silver a pop on trophies and then the whole time we're you know catching normal ones fulfilling little cafe orders here and there one thing I haven't tried is like switching up baits at all um, I did do a little testing with bread and it still seemed to be really good the semolina seems to be bringing in the trophies but I've not seen many spots that have this type of frequency of bites though Oops. And if you don't have semolina yet, this is a good excuse to start digging and, and level up your bait harvesting. This spot is worth having some Alina for. So let's just put um, this third rod will be our test rod a little bit, especially till we get to trophy time. Let's try pearl barley. There's enough roach in the water that I bet we'll. I bet we'll do okay. pearl barley now remember we do have a pretty big hook size so that's going to slow down the bite rate um, that is a nice roach though that's what's amazing about this spot is that we've got size six hooks on the semolina and we're still getting constant fish so if you come here with bread and size 12 hooks again you're just gonna you're gonna catch them as fast as you can put them in the water Some of you in my last video, or one of the last videos, was asking about a couple of things. You were asking about what's the website that you talk about sometimes that is the Russian website that Google translates. And all I can tell you is the address of the website is R-U-Fish. So the letter R, letter U, letter F-I-S-H, 4 dot are you hopefully that will get it to you I'm not gonna link it on my YouTube video I don't I don't really know what this website is I don't know anything about it I'm just not gonna put it out there just not knowing anything about it what's been told to me is it's kinda like a Russian Facebook site that a lot of the RF4 community used to post hotspots that may be the case I don't know but I just I'm not gonna post the link so are you are you fish for dot are you the other thing is discord folks want to know how do I get on the RF4 discord I don't have an invitation for you I assume that if you go look at the Russian fishing Four forums they link it there with with an invitation I haven't gone myself to check and see 
if there's not one there, if I was you, I would just send a direct message to one of the moderators. Um, I just don't, I don't have an active invitation or I would share it with you. I don't think there's any sort of like, I think they're welcoming anyone that wants to come to this website. I think it's fr fr uh, fine to come, sorry, to the Discord channel for RF4. And I assume that they have that information listed on their website, which is, which if you again, search for Russian fishing for, or Russian fishing for forum, that'll take you right there. It seems like, is that a bream? Yeah. You know, we catch eyed here with pearl barley. We're catching a little bream here. It's very weird, this spot right now. We've seen sleepers, roaches, crucians, gibbles. And who knows if we put worms on, maybe we'd even see white bream and rough. This is the hangout spot, it seems like. All right, I think next fish on pearl barley, we go ahead and switch that to semolina. We're coming up on where we should start seeing a sizable increase in the size of crucians and gibbles. Right now, the largest we've caught 722, 580, 579, but that should increase as we hit nighttime here. The other thing we could have done is we could have switched this to roach ground bait with the pearl barley on there. All right, we've got Cymbeline on all three now. So on bait harvesting, we're up to 39.6. Cottage cheese dough and pea porridge are soon. We can't actually make the cottage cheese dough until we hit 16 and can go spend some, some silver on ingredients at Cory, but we'll be there pretty soon. But we can go ahead and make pea porridge, so it doesn't necessarily stop you from continuing to level up your... The, the issue is cottage cheese dough is such so good, though, you kind of do want to just go ahead and get it when you can make it. So we're starting to get into the big boys here. You do want to be a little careful with your drag, as I will try not to pop a leader. All right, before we get to the heavy hitters, let's just see, make sure there's no cafe orders are about to cycle off or anything. see the roach order if we stay there long enough the eyed order is always a possibility i guess but i think most of the eyes i've seen have been up to like 900 grams here not really over the kilo mark but we'll see
And of course we are on Paternoster and Inline was what I was using on the main account last night. I also had bonus and rods on the main account last night, full floor carb in line. I don't know how much of a difference those things will make. I wouldn't think too much. Besides that, besides the bonus and rods, which could make a difference on trophy percentage, I, uh, I, we really should be able to do pretty well overnight on this account as well. I think the ground bait I was using last night was all 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, just because I have full points on my main account and ground bait. But again, all these, those things are all just small differences. This spot seems to be so strong. I think this is still going to be a nice night of fishing here. We'll have to keep an eye on this third ride. The only difference on the third one versus the first two would be the slightly smaller hook. We just have two size six hooks. And instead of buying a third one, I'm just using an eight on the third. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, but we'll see. See, we still catch some small ones every once in a while, but it's really technically not nighttime yet. But as you can see, some of the bigger ones are starting to come in. This top line is getting a little more consistent. At least a kilo, right? Uh, let's see. Other region catfish.
Yeah, this one's just sitting there, wasn't it? I guess it's a little small common roach, okay. Yeah, if you don't have semolina, try bread here, but semolina is definitely the best for overnight. There's an eyed. Not quite big enough though. For the cafe order.
We're at 46 fish. We almost lost that fish. I gotta keep my uh, friction brake lower. All right, so now that top line's looking a lot better, huh? Everything over a kilo, except for the eyed. Whew.
59 fish. <clears throat> no problem getting 100 fish in 24 hours in this spot. But once the night's over, they won't be this quality. Was an accidental pickup. does seem like and I haven't kept like close track of it but it seems like maybe slightly bigger fish are coming in on the size six hooks than the eight 
Could be my imagination, though. Alright, 72 fish. That's a big boy.
So we're about to stop anyway. So let's try and see if just Nightcrawlers catches anything here on size six hook. Something big's on that third line. A nice one. Might be an eyed or something though. No, it's a gibble, isn't it? Yeah, just one point five gibble. I'm gonna keep Simoline on the third line just sort of we can see. Um But you see immediately, like, fish out of fish, 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 fish. <laughs> on Semolina, you can't keep up. And you put Nightcrawlers in, it looks like it's going to severely slow it down. Might not catch anything, but I bet if you wait long enough, you probably will. I'm wondering if during the night, if it would catch any Crucian Gibbles. I'm also wondering if the sleepers are here. It's what I was mostly wanting to see. Goodness. I stuck. There we go. We got unstuck. So let's see what this is on night crawlers. Is it a sleeper or is it a roach? All right, so that was a roach. And I certainly could have, you know, kept going with the Tru Crucian Gibbles a little longer, but I mean, for 46 minutes of fishing, we're at 143 silver plus one cafe order. So, you know, for a Crucian Gibble spot, this is pretty dang good. We've also probably gotten maybe not quite a fourth of a level, but even though these aren't the best fish for experience at level 15, because of the bite rate, it is still adding up. So it's 9.15 and now it feels like we're starting to get small ones. 
more often. Although in chat, you still see folks are catching them up over a kilo. I think if you're trying to hit this place hard, I would fish this spot all the way until noon. Take a break at noon. You probably have 100 fish by then anyway. And then come back and start again at 15 or 1600. So you got five or six in-game hours to either fish for something else or just like take care of some crafting and do some stuff at the store or whatever. But, you know, if you fish this spot 19 hours of every 24 hours, you're going to catch a ton of fish, make some decent silver, and probably be pretty tired from just the back and forth of it all. Really hoping that would be a sleeper. It's a big roach, though. If you're tired of the uh, fast bite rate, just put night crawlers on. It'll slow it down for you. No, it, I wouldn't fish the spot with night crawlers. I was just trying to see if <coughs> we, if there was any chance we would attract the um, the sleepers here. But Simolina is just too good. That's a crucian, isn't it? See, still really good fish are coming on at Semolina. It's still. Ten forty five here, and we're still getting. I didn't mean to release that, but okay, it's cool. All right. Eighty six fish. I guess we should look at that roach order again. I don't know if it'll be worth it though. Some of our roach are really nice. We'll see if it's still here. Oh, the roach order bounced off. Okay. I haven't figured out how to target eyed in that spot. You know, I tried boilies uh, on my main account last night. Uh, I did different stuff just trying to see if you could make the eyed really come in consistently. So on this account, we only got one trophy overnight. We were averaging four on the main account. So is that just RNG? It could be. It also could be the effect of the Boonisons using the inline rig with three points. Uh, having a little bit higher quality ground bait. Had three size six hooks, you know, across the board. Um, it could be some of those things, but it also could just be RNG. I mean, I think across several nights you'll probably some nights get more than one trophy some nights you might not but 
Still really good fishing. We ended up with 156 silver. Uh, and before we wrap it up here, let's... I think what we want to do is... Maybe do 10 more garlic dough and see where that leaves us. We're on 39.6. I guess we could get lucky. We may not need 10, but I doubt it. Let's go ahead and do 10. I mean, if we get lucky and go over, then maybe we'll get a point or two past it. All right, what are we missing? We have garlic dough, wheat flour, sunflower oil. Thankfully, it's just not too expensive to make. The garlic is the most annoying part. Well, that's a good start. I, I was going to say there's no guarantee we'll hit 40%, but for the first one to hit plus 0.2, that puts us in looking much more likely. Oh, there we go. We already hit it with two. So we can now make pea porridge and... Um, Cottage cheese dough. Cottage cheese dough is really nice right now, I think, or at least it was at Old Bird for Tinch. So once we hit 16, it might be worth going and getting some cottage cheese dough and making that at Quarry. We could probably um, do a little bottom fishing at Quarry, even if we're just fishing for some of the same stuff we fish for here. Maybe hit a cafe order or two to justify traveling there, but Corey is not going to be the best spot for us right now unless, um, you know, unless the burbot get really hot and unless we get a little better um, gear. All right, so pea porridge is also, I've seen pea porridge on a couple things lately. All right, so peas and semolina again. Um, what does peas look like? I'm trying to remember. Just gonna make one of them if if we can get peas here. Am I overlooking peas? Shelled peas. I think that's it. So pea porridge isn't that expensive to make. Did we fail? Nope. 40.6, so we have some pea porridge now. So that's pretty huge. The fact that we can now get cheese at Cory, make a bunch of cheese cubes, and then we'll make cottage cheese dough, and then we'll finish it off. With pea porridge. And what I need to remember is this is that spot where Oh no, you can make egg dough at 45, okay. So it really won't be that bad uh, in terms of like time it takes. And we get to egg dough, make egg dough to 50. Then we get the knife and then we're just cutting up fish. And, and, and that'll get us. Goodness. I don't remember how far fish meat gets you. This might be the tough stretch. 50 to 75. I mean, the rest of it is tough, I guess. Because if you rely on... I mean, what's the, the the highest level thing you can make is what honey dough, but making that to get to a hundred, I think it's a slow grind. I guess, I guess really past past honey dough at some point you just get into the slow grind, and and that's when you start getting to the levels of like, oh man, it is kind of nice to have premium to get your happy hour to be able to really um, do stuff to try to level it up. And I think some people, because it's a little cheaper, some people even get those final few points on egg dough instead of honey dough. I don't know. Okay, well, 
another episode went really well. We were up to 723 silver. Um, I think... I kind of feel like at this point, it would be silly not to... Um, make a pretty big jump in terms of the next rig we set up. I'm trying to remember where I had... I might have deleted all of our notes. Or did I have that on one note? Oh, here it is. I don't have the price for... Um, like what's in stock here the Sabre 60 is not in stock still right the Proton Pro is not either and you have to be 16 I kind of feel like that's what we're saving for now um, it's over a thousand silver I believe but we're not that far away and we're pretty stable with the gear we have now. So I kind of feel like we're saving for one of those two reels. And um, let's just check real quick. I'm not going to do any more fishing, but let's just check, see if either one of those are in stock at winding right now. I don't think they are. And so next time we go to Old Berg, we'll have to look. I just don't think... To me, it doesn't make sense to get another 7.5 reel at this point. I think we want either 9.5 or 10. Because we're pretty set on... We can bream fish with our current gear. We can tench fish. We're not really going to go for carp on 7.5 reels anyway. So, I mean, really what we want is we want to start getting reels where once we get to bear, we can at least start having a chance. I think that's our next, our next deal. Okay, so they do have them here. So 1,100. I mean, we're only like 400 and something away from that, but they don't have the Sabre 60. I like the Saber 60 a ton, but I'll have to check and see what the price is like at Old Bird if they have it. The Proton Pro is 1147 at winding. Just to see like, you know, see where what we need to do. Because like in the last leveling series, at this point, we were just focused on getting like spinning setups for Corey. Well, this time around, we're more focused on bottom fishing and aiming towards carp fishing. So we don't have to worry about that as much. And I just wish that... Um, I knew like what level we would be when we hit 60%. I mean, we're still a ways away from inline to be honest. So it'll be a while on carp run. We'll just have to see kind of what percentage we're at once we will buy the reel first. And then once we have the reel, we start saving for a feeder rod. Unless we're getting close to the point of being able to use carp rods. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.